Hi, this is Lauren, and we're at the Reggae Jam Festival, in Germany. Um, it's been a wonderful evening with Raz Shiloh on stage. Beautiful performance. Really so enjoyed it. The crowd was was at their wits with with your performance on stage. And welcome to Europe. And Thanks. Well, we'll we're, we're hoping to see you in Africa sometime yeah, I soon. I can't, I can't wait. You know, um, I've been, you know, I've been waiting for that. You know, for a long time. You know, I've been there spiritually, but not physically. You know, but I know, I just pray for long life and health and strength. You know, prosperity. You know, and I know that when the most I said the time is right. You know, we must reach. You know what I mean? And I see it, and I can't wait to go sing home for the people. You know, you know, just to share the love and the vibration. You know. Yeah, man, the festival was really great tonight, you know? Yeah. Give thanks, you know, for the energy and the vibration, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, man. Uh, Rashalo, uh, having come all this way to Europe, I'd like to know where did, where did you actually start off in your career? And what was your, your, your breakthrough? What would you say was your breakthrough in your, uh, in your musical career? Well, you know, it's starting off from, you know, long time, you know what I mean? You know, in Brooklyn, everything started from Brooklyn, New York, you know? In case people don't know, Rashad was born in Brooklyn, New York City. Yeah, you know what I mean? And, you know, it was a sound system right about three doors down named Bally's International, you know? And that's the way I got started with the music, you know? I used to be watching a lot of artists like Nitty Gritty, Tenasar, you know, Half Pint. Enough artists when we come up firing and thing, you know, pass through Frankie Paul on the sound, you know. And I used to watch them. And I used to go home and pretend to be, you know, I used to go in the bathroom and I used to hold the mop stick and pretend like I'm Tennessee, you know, you know, see it and you know, and everything started from there, you know. But for me, you know, the breakthrough, you know what I mean, you know, is when we link up with the Melchizedek family. You know what I mean? And, you know, I got the name Rashilo. You know, that name was given to me, yeah. you know, and, bestowed. you know, when, yes, it was bestowed by, I, you know, and once we get that name there, you know, it's like my life changed, you know? You know, see it in a certain places when we used to go, you know, go there again and, you know, enough thing. And the breakthrough for me, you know, uh, next time again is when Tony Rebel sent for me, you know? from Jamaica, send a ticket to New York for me to come down to Jamaica, you know? Mm. And when I came to Jamaica, you know what I mean? You know, the first song that was recorded was Are You Satisfied, you know? And that's a song that still always lingers in the mind and the head of the people. That been over 18 years ago, mm. you know? So, you know, give thanks, you know, to the Almighty, you know what I mean? For life and health and strength and, you know, for the for the energy, you know? Because, you know, we have to do it when we can, you know? Because... Yeah, man. Yeah, man. For real. In terms of your your music and and your lyrics, what is your inspiration behind the message in your music? Well, inspiration, you know, inspiration always the Almighty for I and I. You know what I mean? And the inspiration is come from you know just being around. You know what I mean? You know, people day to day. And hearing the people cries, you know, because yeah. that's where the music come from, you know, you know what I mean. And me being in Jamaica, you know what I mean, you know, you know, being amongst, you know what I mean, the upper class of people and the poorer class of people, you know what I mean. You get to really see, you know what I mean, you know, and and to feel, not just see, but you feel it, you know what I mean. You know, you feel that struggle, you know what I mean, and. Yeah, I get a whole heap of inspiration from that, you know, the things that I go through, you know what I mean? So I give thanks to the Almighty for every good and for every bad, you know, thing that we've been through because, you know, the bad things is to make us stronger yeah. and to make us better people in life, you know? So, you know, we just give thanks, you know, for everyone that play, that play a role, you know? Yeah, man. Very true. Um, what, would, what would you, what is your feeling around Repatriation. Well, repatriation is a must, you know. Like I tell the people tonight, you know, we have to get our we have to get our souls right, mm -hmm. you know. So first, you know, it starts with 
repatriating our mind first. You know, we have to clear, we have to clear our minds. You know, we have to get ready for this spiritual trad. You know what I mean? You know, see it. You know, because enough people not ready mentally yet. You know what I mean? You know, it's a spiritual trad. You know what I mean? You know, so the Almighty know what He's doing. You know, He take His time and do things in His in His timing because He have He have everything perfect. You know. Yeah. Sometimes we sometimes we want things to go like we want it to go, but no star know what he's doing, you know? Yeah, man. Um on stage I see that you you use a, a cane. Yeah, the staff, you know. The staff, you know? yeah. I, I rather than die staff, you know, they comfort eye, you know. Yeah man, that and it's a powers, you know what I mean? You know, yeah. and this rod is a special rod too. Because this rod, I don't know if you know about Marty Maplana. The great Martin Planner, you know what I mean? The man that helped culture Bob Marley, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? You know, see it and even a song, he wrote a couple of songs for Bob Marley too. Um, Ily Selassie is a chapel. You understand? I said this ride belonged to Martin Planner, you know? May him rest in peace, you know what I mean? So it's special to I and I, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah man, for real. It has its own history that it carries with it. Yeah, man. Let my brethren paint it up and varnish it up for me, you know? Yeah, man, for real. So it's a power, you know. It's a strength, you know. Yeah, man, for real. Um, the next question I have for you: What, what does Zion mean to you? Well, Zion. When I say Zion, you know, what I mean, I think of Ethiopia, you know, Ethiopia, you know. Yeah, man. Yeah, you know I mean, Mount Zion, you know, what I mean. Yeah, man, Ethiopia, you know, what I mean, Mount Zion is. Is, is life forevermore, you know? That's how the most I, you know what I mean? You know, see it, you know, so, so the most I dwell, you know, so, that's why Bob Marley said, boy, you know what I mean? You have to reach Ethiopia, you know what I mean? Which part his father come from, you know what I mean? I just say the first, you know? Because you don't know, we are singing and we are give all praises and thanks to the most I every day, you know what I mean? So Ethiopia, when you say Zion, you know, my heavens, you know? Ethiopia, Africa. Um. In terms of, uh, sorry, my voice is actually going away. Uh, in terms of projects in Jamaica and projects in Africa, what association do you have to any of these, any organizations per se uh, in, in, in Jamaica or in Africa? Is there anything particular that you're, you're involved in in Jamaica, in terms of upliftment in, in the community? Well, you know, I just try to play my part, you know, like, you know, enough of the time, you know, when, when they keep in certain events and certain things to gather money for certain things, you know, I just try to make myself available, you know, yeah. to, 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 to be a strength, you know what I mean? You know, in any way that I can be, you know, because, you know, can't do everything by yourself, you know what I mean? Unity yeah, sure. is strength, you know, but the greatest thing is, it, is to, to be ready to to render your service, you know what I mean? To you know to you know to give back, you know, yeah. you know see it and you know I really want to get more involved with certain things same way, you know. But like I said, I just timing, you know what I mean? You know, we only can do our best. Once we do our best, the Almighty do the rest, you know. So, you know, yeah, yeah man. Very, very true. In terms of your up and coming if um, projects. What 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 is it that we're expecting from Russ Shiloh well, in future? I have this brand new album that I'm working on. It's always gonna be righteousness. It's always gonna be upfulness, you know. Because you know, once we start doing this thing, you know, what I mean, it's not it's not about fame and, and and riches to me, you know. It's about it's about the works, you know. It's about putting out that 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 message, you know, trying to get it to the people. You know, that means more to me than anything. You know what I mean? And and, and and anything that I make off of my voice, I give thanks to the Almighty because He the one who blessed me with this talent. You know what I mean? So, you know, I just more love and blessings, you know, to everyone. You know, see it. Thanks so much, you know. And believe me, the Almighty has really blessed you with something very special yeah, because thanks. you have a very, very very powerful and very beautiful voice, so per se. Impressed, you know? And I would like to know, when do you plan on visiting Africa? <laughs> you know what, you know, I, I want to know that myself, you know, it's like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm more than willing, you know, it's just, you know, like I have to have the, the right invitation, you know, 
you know what I mean? Because, you know, you know, you just, you know, that's the most I lead with, you know what I mean? You know, because I'm ready. All right, now, I, I wish I was going to Africa. I wish I was going to Africa tomorrow, you know what I mean, to perform for the people, you know? It would be such a wonderful joy for me, but when the time is right, you know, I just try to keep myself prepared and take good care of myself, you know, that when the time do come, you know, I'll be ready, you know, to, to, to do what I do best, you know what I mean? You know, see it, you know, for real. So I'd say that we'd be, we'll be anticipating your visit yeah, I mean, to Africa. Yeah, a, lot of, a lot of people say, you know, where they're going to, you know, but it don't come true as yet, you know. So when the time is right, ready. Okay. Yeah, man. And what message do you have to the youth in Africa, not only in Africa, in but world. in yeah. the world? That's why I make the youth them know for be strong, you know what I mean, and to hold them head up. You know what I mean? And, and and don't be discouraged, you know what I mean, by the struggles and by the tribulations that we go through. You know, just know that those things is to make us stronger. You know what I mean? And never, ever leave out the Almighty. You know what I mean? You know, everything, anything we do, always keep the Almighty within the front run or whatever we are doing. Put him up front, you know? And stay away from bad company, you know, because I seen at them time there's a whole heap of youths that influence other youths, you know, good youths to turn bad on these things, you know. So we just want, you know, make the youths them know for us love themselves first of all and love the Almighty, you know what I mean? And just be true, you know. Yeah, man, for real. Well, Rashalo, I'd like to say thank you for affording us this opportunity to interview you. It's been wonderful. It's been more than a pleasure. My I'm actually pleasure humbled. Too by the fact that um, I've had the opportunity to be this close to you, yeah, <laughs> next thanks. to you, and thank you. Thank you, you love, so very so much. much. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I mean, that's why I make the people them out there know, say Rastafari I live every time, you know, so just roll up on the head and keep doing what you're doing, you know what I mean? You know, see it, and, you know, when we say Rastafari, you know, you know man, we mean Rastafari, you know what I mean? And, you know, just, just live good and try to do your best. And Jadu do the rest, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah mine. Respect. <laughs> Thank you. And that was Rashilo. African life. Peace out. <laughs>